Navarro from Michigan versus Brian W. from London, Ontario. So Canada versus U.S., which is what we want to see for, you know, generally in your, in your national, they're going to try to take it away. Um, so we are here broadcasting from Breakout Con, BTV Live, all day, and we're going to do first two rounds, and then the top eight cut, so it's pretty exciting. So, looks like it could be a pretty good match, this one. All right, we're just getting the lists in order here. Time is starting now. All right, Don, you want to tell us about the first list? Okay, so we've got uh, Matt, and he is playing... Quick Draw and Rack, or Rear Admiral Chirno. And uh, so on Quick Draw, we've got Veteran Instincts, bring them up to PS11, Fire Control System, Harpoon Missile, which is interesting for a Quick Draw, which is a really cool way to do it, <laughs> with Guidance Chips and Advanced Optics for that Everloaded Focus Token. And then he's got the Special Ops Training, because it's so good, and it's free. And then we've got on him as well as Rack and Friend, so this is the Rack, so he's also VI, so he's PS10, and he's got out for Palpatine to ensure those crits and safe, you know, evades when they need him. Kylo Ren, so he can make these ships PS0 or a blinded pilot at opportune times, and engine upgrade so they can kite out of shots, but it's not gonna work with these against his opponent, who is all TLT'd out. All right, and then um, on Brian's side, we've got Captain Nim with the Veteran Instincts, the Twin Laser Turret, Harpoon Missiles, Cluster Mines, Proton Bombs, um, with extra munitions on all of them, Traje Trajectory Simulator, Genius, Havoc, and Long Range Scanners, so he's just got every trick up his sleeve. Uh, Miranda Doni with the Twin Laser Turret, Harpoon Missiles, Bomblet Generator with extra munitions, Sabine Wren and the Long Range Scanners. So again, these guys are going to just be flying around, dropping bombs, shooting harpoons, TLTing. They, there's nothing they can't do at this point. This list, the, cap, the Nim Miranda, of course, was nerfed out of it because back in regional season for us, it was ridiculous because we were using <laughs> the directory simulator with Genius, and that was gross and. So FFG said, oh, hold on, wait a second. That, we didn't want it to do that. So you're that was, forcing us into an FAQ because they usually like to wait nine, that was the nine to 14, nerf in history. Nine to 14 months before they actually do a nerf. So uh, so they, yeah, they rushed it out just in time for us to have a regional and they nerfed it. So <laughs> it only works before they drop, but it's still pretty quick. So it looks like Matt is coming up here. He's going for the bull rush which is odd because yeah, there's no way surprising. he's going to be able to get, get away. But he does have the uh, harpoon missile on quick draw, which has a hilarious interaction with this list because when quick draw loses a shield, he's going to get free shots. So he's going to want to do that. He needs so many ways to trigger with these bombs, with the harpoons going off. It's going to be, he's going to get those free shots, but those shields are not going to last long. Do we think that he's trying to avoid taking both of these harpoons immediately with uh, Cherno, and that's why he's rushed in this turn to try and close that range before the harpoons go off? I don't know. This is not. This is a bold strategy on that. Yeah, I, I would agree with that because <laughs> it looks really bad right now. I would not be flying right at Nim and Miranda with a no. the decimator. Yeah, but I guess he wants to get behind. I mean, neither of these ships can do a straight up K turn. The Skurg can do. Uh, Talon roll, but yeah, they do really want to get those missiles into Chirno as fast as they can. But you know, it's just or inside that range one bubble. I guess that's what Matt's going for, just to get into that safety zone. Right. But moving at PS10, it looks like Matt does have the initiative, so he is going to be moving his PS10 before Nim. It's going to be it's going to be tough. For sure. Yeah, I guess these two bombers, they don't, I mean, obviously they don't want to get that blinded from uh, Kylo, but they've got those bombs, so they still are like, you know what, I can do damage even if you don't let me shoot. Oh, absolutely. And also Miranda got a little bit of a nerf as well. Um, so now she has long-range long scanners, but the long, the advanced slam, no, oh, so not, allowed, not allowed to do that anymore, that I'm going to... 
<laughs> Move, slam, bomb. To be fair, we all thought the K-Wing was dead, but here's Miranda still alive and well. Yeah, she's just fine. She's like, oh, is there a nerf? I had noticed. <laughs> Long range scanners is a good upgrade. It's a great upgrade. It's zero points, right? It's zero points, and I can see from the blue uh, indicators on the on the scum ships that they have planted locks somewhere on the board. I don't see the red side. So I'm they're gonna probably, guess they're behind that decimator. They're, they're probably hiding on the decimator's base, just <laughs> tucked in there for safekeeping, so they can, you know, they can do the one bank and uh, hopefully land some harpoons. And Matt's probably seeing that, and he's thinking, I gotta rush out of here. I can't. Yeah. I don't want to hang not around. Want to take those. Yeah. And Matt is back. For the fourth time, I believe, uh, at our Canadian Nationals, nearing the top cut, he originally came up in uh, 2015, the year that Spencer McClung won. Right. And that is when we also had uh, a lot of other top players that were here today: uh, Jonathan Grasser, uh, the Duncan Duncan Howard, and Jeremy Howard. They all first uh, made their appearance on our Canadian National scene back in 2015. They're all here today. They're all in our day two. Um, so it's it's interesting that, that these players come out and they, they travel to Canadian Nationals and then they consistently are hitting it on the, you know, on the top levels. Yeah, well, so here's I guess the they want to simulator. represent us at, uh, at Worlds. Yeah, they do. <laughs> They're like, yes, I'm the Canadian national champion. <laughs> and our defending Canadian national champion is not here, Bohan Lee from London, where Brian is from. Uh, he's taken a bit of hiatus. He's traveling for work, I believe, or you know, he's got serious things to take care of. He can't just spend his spend all of his time <laughs> playing with playing, plastic playing, spaceships. Yeah, you know, the nerve. But so that's where he's at, and uh, so we do have Alan Fung on, in the field today. Again, former national champion. Uh, from 2016 and so that is that's exciting so he's here to defend and it looks like they are getting their harpoon missiles all set and ready for a big uh, splash so <laughs> quick draw is going to be wanting to plug in that blinded pilot ASAP and here he goes he's kiting around yep there he is nice play totally in the lane wave he saw it he's going to get TLT but that's a lot better than getting Harpooned and oh, bombleted. Yeah. That's a much slower death than taking all those yeah. harpoons. So we're going to see a boost here with the engine upgrade. Definitely. And there's a little bit of space turbulence there for that. Well, I mean, it's a big ship. Yeah. I could see it making some waves in yeah. space. And so the interesting play here now is that if Matt moves quick draw right into that bomblet range to get his free shot before, so he's going to be double tackling before those guys even fire. That right. will be the interesting play. And so he's probably going to blinded pilot Miranda is my call. And then he's going to save that PS0 for Nim okay. for a later round. Right. That's my guess. Now, is that a bomblet or is that the proton bomb? Oh, that was, interesting. That was yeah, Nim no, that who is a proton. That, out, right? that is a proton bomb. Yeah. With uh, the tra trajectory, which is That is, is a Nan. proton bomb uh, token, so that is the one that comes in the pack, not the ugly as sin uh, organized play version <laughs> that when they came out, it was just like, wow, that is an ugly token. All right. right. Here so comes here he is digging the deck. Side. Dark side is happening. And, and blinded. Blinded pilot. There we go. Not surprising. Yep, so he's going to be safe. So he's, instead of doing the boost, he is sitting there and he decided oh, to he's gonna just take he it. decided to take take the take the shot from Miranda and Miranda's gotten the blinded pilot assigned, so he's not going to be taking damage. So he's only going to be getting the TLT from Miranda. <laughs> Well, pardon me, TLT yeah. from Nim. Pardon me. Yes. Correct. Okay, so he's, n but he's also going to be taking the damage from the proton the bomb, proton. which is nasty. I and guess he'd rather take that than yeah. another harpoon. Yeah, and the proton bomb wouldn't trigger. Uh, would not trigger the uh, quick draw's ability because, so we're just checking for obstruction here. Uh, would not trigger 
quick draws ability because it goes under shield. It's such a nasty, oh, nasty yeah, you're bomb. Right. I mean, if you could land a couple of those on quick draw, you're like, all right, nice, done. It is not going to be good. So we're going to see what happens here. So are we on to firing at this point? I believe yeah, that we bomb, are. That, that proton is still there, so that hasn't gone off. So Maybe Nim is holding it? Oh, that's possible. Nim could be holding the bomb. Because that's Nim's ability, that he gets to delay those bombs from going off. So he probably is holding that off so that it will be able to do a double bomb on quick draw under the shields. So bad. Oh, we're dealing some damage here. So we've got major explosion. Rolling to see if we get the... Oh, he's safe. So just he's the good. one. So that was what the proton bomb did go off. Yep. And that's going on the decimator under the shields. It is safe from Nim. And looks like Miranda is safe as well. Oh, a oh. little bit of space turbulence there. Yeah, no. If Nim was safe, then Miranda is definitely safe. Now they're just removing the token. Oh, token still jostling around. <laughs> Such a precise game. Yeah. It seems like everyone here has like big fingers, myself included. It's like, what what am I doing with these fingers in this tiny, delicate game? I have this vision of one day we will play this with holographic models on a table. And no, <laughs> it'll all be done so nice. But FFG says, but we're a tabletop game company and we make plastic models with little cards and you got to touch it all we're not a video game company so now we're measuring here see after yeah. all that space turbulence looks like match is like ah whatever That's, get out of here well at this point that little token has been moved so much if oh, it's yeah. that close how can you make that call exactly so there we go so the only one taking damage from that is the big bad rack now we're going to start seeing some real combat here. Yes. Talking about something. So this is Harpoon Missile from Quick Draw into Miranda. Nice. So with the Harpoon condition, of course, if the crit comes up, it will, uh, there it is. Yep. I didn't see Palpatine go down. So no. he's using the lock. Oh, there's another crit. Okay, so <laughs> blinded pilot will trigger. He doesn't have that guarantee with the guidance chips. Um, and here he goes, Miranda rolling its one defense die, oh. does nothing, blows off the shields, Ow. and now he has the harpoon in there. So he's saving the saving the Emperor so that he can automatically trigger it with Rack. Right. Which is a crit yes. machine anyway. It looks like Amazing. he's arranged too. So now the uh, Nim is harpooned. I mean, pardon Miranda. me, not Nim, Miranda. Yes. Miranda Doni harpooned. So now when Rack attacks before Miranda, now she will not get to attack whatsoever this turn. That's right. And it'll go face down. And that's... When you're that decimator with no evade dice, you love when sh ships are not shooting at you. It's, right, so it's we'll such a good defensive move. Be doing the TLTs. Yes, who is Nim shooting at? All right, so now it looks like they're just figuring all that out with Miranda, and then we're going to be moving on to next firing would be Rack, right? Or is it Nim? Nim has initiative? Which side uh, has Nim? I oh, Matt has initiative. So it yeah. will be Rack firing before. We're seeing Brian rolling right now. Okay, so Brian is so that's TLT. The TLT. <laughs> Now here comes Rack. So it must be that. So it must be that Brian has initiative then. I would guess so. I must have yeah. that just a little bit mixed up there. Yeah, because he moved his ships before. Okay. Chernow moved. Uh, so yeah, Brian has initiative. So we're swoop. If you look at the top of the screen, there's a little token there that that actually comes in the 
the uh, Force Awakens corset because everybody uses that. Oh, right. That I is, totally that forgot is for that the existed. initiative. Everybody <laughs> hardcore uses that. I got a Force Awakens for the damage deck. Isn't yeah. that what everyone bought it for? Now, I bought it, I bought mine for the wired upgrade. That's why I that's why I own three of that. Oh my god. And then they put it in another ship and it was like, "Oh, thank you. Thank you FFG." That's cuz I thought double aggressors with wired was going to be the thing. That's what I was playing. Right. In back in the day. Yeah, I thought but then I decided, <laughs> you know what? Would even be better than wired? Determination. <laughs> So that's what I was playing. All right, so Miranda's got quite a bit of damage on her right now, sitting at two hull. Oh, no, that was a direct hit. Only one hull. That was a good round for Matt. Wow, look at that. Miranda down to one hull. Ouch. In just one round. That's crazy. That's, that is nuts. And she hasn't done anything at all because... She's got that. So she's in a really bad spot. So Miranda loves to be able to kite away and just plink away, do those little shots to regen. But if she gets, she does, has no opportunity to do that against this list at all. Yeah, no, he shot yeah. right down. And so again, she, you know, with the, with quick draws ability, with the bomb or rocks, there's so many ways for you to trigger off quick draw yourself. There's also that hilarious right. build when you like, have uh, what's that? What's that system that you like can take a damage? Uh, so you do it to yourself. Oh, I don't know. That's like it's so funny. You just like you take that. You'd like rage. The build was like you'd rage, and then you do the do the system that you like take a damage when you take a stress, okay, and so you yeah. lose a shield, oh and then so you like move, shoot somebody in the face with focus, and re-rolling all three dice. It's like. Do we think that's broken or do we love it? That, I think I love it. That was something we loved, yeah. We <laughs> thought it was broken at the time, but now we look back and go, oh, no, I love that, actually. Electronic Baffle, the chat is Electronic saying. Baffle, that's the one. Thank that's you, the card. Eagle. Thank you, Eaglets. Eaglets 111. <laughs> You're my hero today. Yeah, so Brian's got a lot to make up for here if he wants a chance. Um, this point, I don't even know. He's got to. He's got to land those harpoons. I don't know how he's going to keep Miranda alive in oh, time to do it, though. Thank you, Leg Jansen. Leg Jansen was on the stream yesterday. A real gentleman from Milton, Ontario. He's like uh, talking to us in the chat here. He's a big uh, contributor to the FFG official forum. So, Leg Jansen, if you're out there, tell all your friends at the FFG forum that the VTV Live will be broadcasting all day long. And uh, I Armada might not be here. Our Armada too. So we've got all the channels going on: YouTube, Twitch TV, everything. Yeah, NBC, ABC, CBS. <laughs> give it up. Wow, VT we've really made it now. VT TV's taken over. ESPN, <laughs> TSN, get out of here. All right. So it looks like we're just waiting on Nim's dial here. Definitely got some hard decisions to make. Ready to start moving. Dials are oh, set. Nope. Rethinking oh, again. Readjust. You always want to just. At least check that you dialed in the right maneuver. Yeah. Right? Or that it's not halfway through. You're like. And you've got the right ships. There's so many things that could go. Oh, I'm sorry. Whoops. And in a casual game, that's fine. But hey, this is. This, this is, is not casual at this point. This is nationals. This is day two. Everybody is serious. As I mean, everybody here. here is super nice, and so a lot of people would let stuff like that slide, but yeah. it is a premier yeah. tier we, event. We're going to see a slam here from Miranda, unless he's going to bomb Nim. <laughs> I don't think but so. But I don't think so. That's not scum Nim. Right. So he's going he's gonna to try to stay alive until he can come back in at a better time, let, let Nim take it on its own for a while. Come back in, hope to fire off that harpoon at least. Maybe get a sweet TLT off on... Quick draw Regen and not shield. not have it shoot <laughs> Nim in the face. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, at least he's got that TLT so he doesn't have to face down both of these ships yeah. at once. He does have the no fire token now, so yeah. regardless, Miranda's not firing. And here comes Big Bad Nim doing the hard two. Oh, chasing down that decimator. It's like, look. That's close to that rock. Oh, oh. heartbreaker. <laughs> oh. All right. So, so he just jumped off, but it's in there. Somebody should have held that rock down. Somebody right should have used start. blue tack on their asteroids. It doesn't work so well on those mouse pad type play mats. It doesn't. It works better than nothing. nothing. Yeah. I also wait and have little specialized bases on all of my ships, and so I I've been been played straight out of the box kit since 2012 that you've always like been kitted out with the fanciest stuff that was that was my thing i was like super fancy since before any of us even started playing everybody's first story of their first tournament oh yeah don was there <laughs> mr fancy so nim not firing this turn miranda not firing this turn all right no damage so from the rock at least Poor brian he's just going to be oh, give, that getting was a shot rough move. so here we go so here, Miranda is, or Rack is probably going to be saying, hey, guess what, Nim? Not even going to need to PSO, but something. Because with initiative, it doesn't matter. Only for yeah. uh, simultaneous Simul fire. And at this point. So he's like, oh, I'm going to lock you. Let's see what we can do. Here comes. Yeah. Do some. Oh, do some right in the face. Oh. Right Saw in the Miranda's face. Saw Miranda's move coming. And so, so does he think he's going to go for Miranda now, or you think he's going to just. I don't know why you wouldn't Nim. try to finish off Miranda when you've got the chance. Because Nim's True. not going to be able to shoot back this round anyway. <laughs> right. I would take the... I would I would say... I would write Miranda off at this point. She's kill, it, so? she's kill it will at this point. And especially her being PS8. So I would take the time to just... She's slippery, though. Work. But she's on one hall. And, yeah, yeah. And you know. she can only regen if she's attacking. Yeah. So that's the Looks thing. Looks like we're checking for Archon Miranda, though. All right. Because Nim. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just checking. But, you know, weighing your options. You're allowed to check obstruction before committing to target. Yeah, absolutely. Check range. It's good to check around everything, and you get an idea for your next moves. For your lower PS ships. Yep. So what's that? A hit and a focus. All right. So it looks like we've done primary attack. Uh, oh. And we're re-rolling with the target the lock. Target lock, right? From fire FCS. control system. Right. Yeah, Miranda can't avoid that. Oh, he and did. He did palp use the Palpatine. No Palpatine token on the table, but. I did. They're, just, they're just going by a verbal. Right. That's it's hard to remember to show us everything on camera because it's not how you're used to playing. So that's very dead, Miranda. Adios, Miranda. We hardly knew you. All right, here goes Rack doing some work on Nim. Range 2. Now, does that rock at least obstruct that shot? It looks like it would. From this angle, that it looks like it would. That was his plan the whole time. I'm just going to hide behind this obstacle. Because that'll help. <laughs> it's better than shooting, I'm sure. Looks like we're getting some difficulty in there. All right, we're bringing in the, uh, again, the laser. Everybody's favorite toy. Look at me, I got lasers. <laughs> my stupid laser never works. It's the worst thing in my kit. I remember when I was at Worlds in 2015, somebody had this laser, two lasers on a tripod. <laughs> right. For... Our, they're not, they weren't playing X-Wing, they were playing for Armada, and they had this whole setup. They would like grid it out. <laughs> All right, rack on Nim. Rack on Nim. So there we go. And. Spending the lock, I guess? Spending that lock to get more eyeballs. Lots of eyeballs. And turning with the crit with the ability must be range two. It was definitely range two when they measured. <laughs> so here we go, Nim. So we just got one crit? That's oh. it. Oh, double blanks from Nim. Double blanks. Nim's like, my shields! No! Well, just one. Needs Could have every, been a lot worse. Needs every one. There's poor Miranda's target lock. Blue token just, just sitting over there. Space. Just like, I had you. I tried. It's her lasting impression on this world. Or this, I guess, space, not world. Yeah, she didn't get a chance to do... We hardly knew you. No Sabine Wren. Sabine is off the board. That's really huge. For sure. 
because yeah, Nim's the one with all yeah. the bombs there. So your co-host from yesterday, Aaron P, is playing today. Yes, he went four and two on day one A, and I think he surprised even himself. His one of his games was actually streamed as well. If for some reason you want to go check out what he was running, it was a little bit interesting. And then your other co-host from yesterday, Sumit. Well, he was playing yesterday. He, <laughs> he was playing yesterday, and then he wasn't playing today. And today, he's working on becoming the Ruin Wars Canadian National Champion. Out of, uh, I think they've got two players there. Yeah, so today. he's in the top two. <laughs> yeah, I think they're up to. I think, seven. I think they have an actual event. Oh, okay. really? All right, so they're, they up got to, they're up to three players, folks. <laughs> Someone's got to buy. Don't can it yet, FFG. We've got interest in Canada. We don't have enough money for all these games. Sorry. Money and time. I mean, anytime that a new Star Wars game drops, people ask me, "So, are you gonna, are you gonna do what you do for X-wing for this game?" Like, no, I'm not. <laughs> I do X-wing every night of my life. What are you talking about? All right. Well, we can see what's going through Matt's head here because we can see his dial uh, for a quick drop. Thinking about a hard so, two. I'm, I'm thinking he's going to use the auxiliary. I think he was going to use the auxiliary arc at this yeah, point. Yeah, there's no point not to. So he's going to cruise a little bit slow up. I mean, Nim doesn't have too many tricky moves in there that that. Yeah, back I mean, he, he is in a bad spot where he can get cluster mined. That's true. And that'll blow off all of his shields. And then he potentially can shoot. if you know if if he could pull off a move where he wouldn't be in arc, that would be ideal. To be able to blow off those mine, blow off those shields, and knock it. I don't think he's able to pull it off. I don't think he has the quite the right placement. So we're going to see what he does now. Looks like he's doing the two bank. Now his cluster mines oh, after the here, move or before? It's after. So All he's right. going to be able to get a nice shot in the head here <laughs> if he wants. If he wants, looks like what he's going for is to be in the spot to drop those clay. Here they come, yeah. here come the tokens. Now is that gonna be overlapping two of them? That is, looks like it's gonna be doing one. Just one? One. Oh yeah, you're right. From my K-Wing days, it's crucial. You're a better bomber than I. <laughs> oh, maybe not even one. Maybe not even one. Oh. If it was Soul Sixa, it'd be a different right, story. Right, yeah, Soul Sixa would drop that right on Quick Draw's head. Oh. All right, get some fingers in there. So that's, that that's good. Though. If he doesn't and he overlaps it, he'll be doing it after his move. But it looks like we did get the one just in the corner, unfortunately, which would have been a better move for if it didn't trigger right now. But here we go. He's rolling for the bomb. That looks like two hits. Two hits. So that's two shields of Quick Draw. Quick Draw's ability will trigger now. That's a nice shot for Quick Draw. It's, not, it's pretty sweet. He gets the double tap in. Okay, so, and he's going to spend the focus, so there you go, blow off three, oh, I guess he does get to roll his green die. FCS applied, nothing from the green dice. Three shields. Blows off his shields. That was not a fair trade. I about that trade. was not a fair trade. All right, so now, here comes the Desi. Hard three to come around. He's like, yeah, you want to harpoon me? You, I guess. Sure. If you want... Okay, but guess what, buddy? Blinded pilots coming your way. Oh, it's so nasty. Just thinking about it. Didn't the blinded pilot already go to? Uh... There are two blinded pilots in the deck. There are two of every. Every. He, so he doesn't get shot. He can do that. So, yeah, so there's two of there's, there's two of every crit in the deck except for of course the double damage which there's seven of nasty. Yeah. Uh, just curious how he was gonna get the blind pilot. Oh well, he's gonna get the blind pilot with the shot from quick draw. He's gonna fire Palpatine's gonna trigger the crit, and because he's got FCS and he's got Palpatine, 
It Only one look agility. Like he did it, though. Looks like he took. A, is that a focus that he took? Because the last looks like time a target he... lock. Looks like oh. actually he did a target lock rather than that. I can never tell with all these third-party tokens. Yeah. Just trying to finish him off, I guess. Yeah, Doesn't even care about their like, turn fire. It's like whatever. Shoot me, sure. You've got one of eight dice. You, you want to do? A, you want to harpoon me? Oh, here comes Palpatine. Oh, Palpatine in for the crit. So we got an eyeball. He's re-rolling with FCS. So he's got the hit. Palpatine makes it a crit. See what the the green one dice green to say. die says oh, nothing. Brian, Brian should just take those green dice, put them in a glass of Coca-Cola for a week, and just. <laughs> What's that crit? That looks like we've got damage sensor array. Damage sensor. Nasty array. town. So he's like, whatever. Just why can't they all be double damages? I'm having a. Yeah. This is a tough, tough fight for. Brian at this point. USA, that's one for you. <laughs> All right, so it's like we've got Nim shooting. Okay, so oh. Nim one, he's using, so this is oh, the, harpoon. the harpoon. Harpoon is going off, so he's re-rolling with the target lock. Oh. Nothing there. Oh. One. one. One, and so Looks like he is rolling a die. He's joggling a die. I don't know where that's going. Oh, must be obstructed. He's getting Didn't nothing. Do anything so anyway. now he's harpooned. One damage, <laughs> one shield. Rack's like, ah, uh, that's fine. You know, look, Nim's like, hey, yeah, you're harpooned now. So watch out. He dealt a damage card, but that should have been a shield. Uh, yeah, that's weird. Rack's still sitting on a shield. I think he didn't even realize because there's already that damage card dealt there. I think that they're giving up. Look, there's oh, his yeah. handshake. They've, they've called it. Well, there you go, so folks. That was a quick, quick one. Draw and 